in Asia did different styles of empty-handed combat become an art regarded as a state secret or harbored within the walls of religious monasteries. Legend has it that in the early 6th century, Bodhidharma, an Indian monk and Buddhist missionary, began a long trek from Western India to China. There he would preach Buddhist doctrine. Ultimately, his journey took him to the remote Shaolin Temple in central China. The Shaolin Temple was founded in 495 AD in the Wen Dynasty and Bodhidharma came to the temple in 527 AD. He taught many things at Shaolin, Buddhism, philosophy, meditation. Bodhidharma taught the Shaolin monks meditative breathing and stretching exercises like these that the monks named 18 Hands of the Lohan, or exercises for the greatest holiness. Some say this was a seminal influence into creating a Chinese martial art. Others disagree. Some Chinese scholars say that Chinese martial arts antedates the Shaolin Temple, that they were practiced in China hundreds of years, even thousands of years before this, and that um, this is just one aspect of Chinese martial arts. According to legend, the monks developed their exercise routine into a martial arts form that allowed them to defend themselves and their mountain temple against bandits and warlords. The monks' exercises would come to be known as Shaolin Boxing, or Chuang Fa, Way of the Fist and later in the West as Kung Fu. Shaolin Kung Fu spread across China and would eventually encompass hundreds of styles. Shaolin is like a, a, a big tree. It, uh, it had many branches that offshoot from the trees and uh, there were many different styles. Some were based on animal movements and emphasized the quick, aggressive attack method of the Chinese boxing school known as external or hard. Centuries later, Kung Fu would greatly impact the development of Karate. The heart of all Eastern martial arts is the ancient Chinese art of Kung Fu. In China today, Kung Fu training often begins at an early age. In fact, it's an integral part of the curriculum at some schools, such as the Tago Wushu, or Martial Arts Institute in central China. Here, some 4,000 students practice Kung Fu daily. China, the term Kung Fu refers to a person skilled in any field. Most Westerners, though, associate Kung Fu specifically with fighting techniques, some of which are adapted from nature. There are even some specific styles of Kung Fu that just deal with animals such as the mantis movements, which concentrate on how mantises capture their prey. and monkey movements, which use the actions of monkeys to design several fighting movements. As Kung Fu spread throughout China, it began to reflect the physical characteristics of its practitioners and their surroundings. In northern part of China, the people usually are taller, so they have longer legs, so they utilize the leg more, and then the land is more flat, so they can do more leaping and jumping. The union of a legal combat system and a spiritual philosophy may seem at odds. Yet, 
tolerance has been the strength of Buddhism for centuries. It was tolerance that led the ancient Shaolin community to accept boxing and weapons trade. The monks learned that slow, deep breathing, cheap breathing, not only gave them endurance and concentration during hours of meditation, but also increased their striking power. What helped them pray also helped them fight. However, a monk who was a master of combat was bound by rules to use his skill defensively and only as a last resort. The monks were influenced by the Taoist philosophy of Lao Tzu, a scholar in 6th century BC China. In his book, The Way and Its Power, Lao Tzu writes of living in harmony with nature and understanding the balance of opposites in the universe. In Chinese, Wei is translated as Tao and refers to the natural way in which the universe flows. Natural way in the Taoist view would be the flow of a river, the fall of rain, and the coming and going of seasons. In the martial arts, if violent force is coming at you, the most difficult thing is to put a violent force against that force. You have strong, strong conflict.